I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool DIY craft table on Starter Builds. So back to what I was saying. What is up, guys? CJ here with Starter Builds. Happy holidays. It is almost Christmas. Hope you guys are having a great holiday and are in the holiday spirit. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through how to make your very own DIY craft table. This is an excellent gift for anyone in your family that's super into DIY crafts, whether that be wreath making, scrapbooking, the list goes on. So stay tuned, I'm gonna walk you through how to make this. It's a very DIY friendly project. I'll have links down in the description below to the plan. So let's get into the build. All right, first step is to break down the one by 12s. There'll be a cut list in the plans linked below from Anna White. I'm starting out by cutting down all these one by 12s and then I'll be shifting over into pocket holes. I'm gonna use pocket holes to assemble this. There's a wide variety of ways that you could assemble this. Pocket holes is just the most beginner friendly and it's very easy. If you don't have a pocket hole jig, I highly recommend looking at your local big box store or even Facebook marketplace. You could find some good prices on pocket hole jigs on there. Now we're moving into ensuring that everything is square and I'm also laying out where I want to put in those divider pieces as well as mapping out where my shelves are going to go to as well. I opted for no glue on this project because I will have to disassemble it to take it over to my parents house. Again, this is a gift for Christmas for my mother, but I highly recommend if you are going to be building this yourself, definitely use some wood glue. It'll provide very good strong bond and ensure that nothing flops or falls apart. Again, we're utilizing those pocket holes to keep everything in place, so stay tuned for the rest of the build. By now, once you've made your cut and assembled with pocket holes, you have something that looks similar to this. If you didn't, be sure to reference those plans below. Sometimes I get jiggy in the shop, as you can see. Now we're actually going to be attaching those outside pieces, which will actually form the front of the craft table. And you're gonna put 10 inch to 11 inch, depending on how wide you're making these shelves slotted in here too as well. I'm using a brad nailer to attach these. Again, you could just use some two inch wood screws to attach these two as well. Whatever is more convenient for you uh, to attach these. All right, just an update on this DIY craft table. We have officially built one of the bookcases here. We do not have the shelves, which we're gonna install later, but just wanted to give an overview of what this will look like. We'll also have shelves here in the front. So essentially, we'll replicate this on the other side here, and then we'll use this sheet of MDF or plywood as the top there too as well. I'm actually gonna put casters on the bottom so it's mobile, um, but just wanted to give you an update. On what this looks like, there'll be a detailed cut list down below that is provided from Anna White. Definitely check out all of her plans. Uh, those are the plans that I'm following. I just thought it'd be helpful to have a video and kind of a guided walkthrough on how to create this. By now you should have two different individual 
bookcases that look like this. They're gonna have two shelves in each uh, center part as well as two shelves on the front part. Be sure to follow the plans below for that detailed cut list as well as the materials. But by now you should have these two. We're gonna go ahead and attach those shelves into the front of the bookcases here. And then we'll go ahead and add in the trim pieces around, which I'm doing here, just measuring those to, to length and then attaching those with brad nails as well. Very easy to do. All right, so for those shelves, again, we're gonna be using pocket holes. They're gonna be two different separate shelves within this bookcase. Make sure to put your pocket holes on the underside, that way they won't interfere with the shelves. You're also gonna to wanna to be able to use some type of clamp as well as a level to make sure everything is square. The plans below will have the dimensions on how far down these shelves should be spaced out, so be sure to reference that too as well. After we attach these shelves, we'll be able to get some paint or stain onto this craft table, and then we will finally put our tabletop on and we'll have a finished product as well.
So here is the final DIY craft table. Now again, these plans were provided by Anna White. I'll have a link down in the description below to the plans that I followed, but essentially you're just gonna build two bookcases, get your top whether that's plywood or MDF. This is actually a Christmas gift for my mom, so I'm super excited with how it turned out. I can't wait to show her the final product tomorrow for Christmas. If you guys like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe too as well. Stay tuned for all the latest and greatest projects from Starter Builds. And tag me on Instagram at Starter Builds with your latest projects. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. Take care.